Carl from Cruiser Cross here with Patrick from Dino Jet. Today we're going to be talking about the Power Commander units. Now, here on the table we have a USB Power Commander 3. We've got the Power Commander 5. We're going to show you some of the neat things that these products do. Now, real quick, can you give us a little backstory on the Power Commander, where it came from, and why we need one on our fuel injected bikes? Um, the Power Commander came about when fuel injection start, started coming out on, on the motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Um, people started changing the parts on their motor on their motorcycles and needed a way to adjust the amount of fuel the motorcycle was getting. Um, with fuel injection, it's a little bit more complicated than the old carbureted <laughs> stuff. Um, so we have an electronic device that will allow you to go in and change the amount of fuel the bike is getting. So a lot of people have been scared when, when motorcycles started coming with fuel injection. People were freaked out. Mm -hmm. uh, people were used to running with carburetors. They were used to the couple simple adjustments. You got the, the pilot, the main, the needle, and maybe some springs. And that was really much, that's pretty much it. With the fuel injected motorcycle, the average Joe didn't know what to do with it. But with a Power Commander, step by step instructions, you at home in your own garage can get the perfect tune. Absolutely. So when it comes to the Power Commander, you're going to plug this into your motorcycle. As you can see, we've got two connections. You basically unconnect your stock ECU, plug it into the Power Commander, and away you go. Really quick, what are some of the simple steps you've got to do in order to make this completely functional on your bike once you install it? Um, taking a Power Commander straight out of the box, we include the USB cable to connect it to your computer. We also include the software CD. Um, that has the latest version of the software and the most current listing of maps on it. Um, essentially, you take the Power Commander, plug it into your computer, select the map, one of DinoJet's pre-configured maps that matches or closest matches mm -hmm. the setup you have on your motorcycle. And what Patrick's talking about real quick here is you open the map file. You're going to see your, your particular year, make, model motorcycle. You're then going to see an air filter option. You're going to see an exhaust pipe option. You choose the option that is either identical or best matches your motorcycle, plug it in and download the map. When that screen pops up, it looks like there's a lot of action going on on the screen. Um, what are some of the key things to take a look at and, and pay attention to when downloading your first map? Um, just make sure that once you open the map that the, the notes specify exactly what the map is for. Make sure that that is matching your motorcycle. Also make sure that you've selected a map specifically for your year make and model. So the Power Commander 3 has been out there for a really long time. Now over the next several years we're going to be, or Power Commander is going to be kind of phasing out the 3 and everyone's going to be going to the 5. What are some of the key advantages of the 5 over the 3? Um, one of the main features of it is the actual size of the box itself. Um, depending on the motorcycle, um, fitment can be an issue trying to find room to put a Power Commander 3 to where the Power Commander 5 is a lot mm -hmm. smaller in physical size. Um, and then with the Power Commander 5, there's some features that you can add to the Power Commander 5, like our auto tune module that puts wideband sensors on the bike, and the, and the Power Commander will actually tune the motorcycle you're riding as you go down the road. So let's cover some of the things. So you say auto-tune is number one. Mm -hmm. Depending on the motorcycle, you, it, direct plug-and-play type applications uh, would be the quick shifter. allows us mm -hmm. to put a sensor on the shift rod um, that allows us to shift through the gears without the use of the clutch. Um, we have a map switch you can put on it that you can actually store two different maps in the Power Commander nice. and switch between those. Um, and then actually with both of them, you can actually put an LCD screen on it and mount that to your handlebars and view information from the Power Commander. That's as fantastic. Ride. That's something you definitely don't get with any stock application. That uh, LCD screen to be able to monitor exactly what your motorcycle is doing as you ride down the road, absolutely fantastic. So now that we've covered the Power Commander 3, the Power Commander 5, let's talk about something very unique for the Harley-Davidson market called Power Vision.